Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Gonna Change. Today, we're gonna talk about the Ryan Carson video. I'm not gonna show too much of it because it's not necessary. Um, um, I know there's unfiltered videos of it, but I'm just gonna show you the scenario, okay? So pretty much this young man down here decides that he's gonna walk down here and you see, you can barely see it, okay? But up at the very top of the screen, you can see a scooter, right? There's a scooter at the very top of the video and this man goes down there to knock down these scooters, okay? And so let's just watch it a little bit. We're not going to get too deep into it because this is the last day that this man ever walked the earth. So we'll stop it there. What ends up happening is this man goes down here to this guy. I want to know this. He goes down in this direction. This guy comes back and says, hey, look, I got a knife. It's not going to work out well for you for a better like words. So Mr. Carson here decides he's going to start pushing and he starts pushing this young man. And after he starts to push this young man, this man is obviously unhinged, ends up taking his life. And the reason I want to have this discussion today, because the young man that did this was black. And I want to tell a quick, I want to just give my quick thoughts on that. And we're going to also talk about the GoFundMe, which I find reprehensible. But you guys can let me know what you think about it. So we're going to talk about that as well. But let me talk about this. So let me say this. I'm a black man and I've worn hoodies a lot in my life. I wore hoodies growing up as a young man until I was at least 24, 25 years old. I wore hoodies everywhere I went into the store outside in the summer. heat. didn't care. I had a situation one time I was wearing my hoodie walking down the street just with my friend. We were having a good old time. I got me and my friend got pulled over and we were told that. We were suspects in robbing a school. And I said, are you serious? We're chilling in the church parking lot with the lights on. Are you serious? We didn't get in trouble that day. Another time, walking with my friend, we get pulled over. I'm a grown, I'm not on the grown man, but I'm of age. I'm 20 plus at this time. Me and my friend, we get pulled over again by the cops. They said, why are you guys out so late? And I asked the cop, is it a crime to just walk in the city? And he says, no, but you shouldn't be out this late. I was a young man and I argued with him and said, well, if it doesn't matter, we're going to keep walking. We don't have vehicles. So we walk. OK, so we just walk and talk. Is that all right? And we moved on about our lives. Another time, me and my friend are hanging out at a Taco Bell parking lot. OK, no, well, we're hanging out. There's a Taco Bell in the parking lot, but we're at the gym. So there's Taco Bell and there's a gym like. 100 yards away. We're at the gym parking lot, but the parking lots are connected. I don't know if I, that makes sense, but nonetheless, we're at the gym parking lot because we're right in front of the gym talking to each other after working out, right? Or something like that. I can't remember exactly what happened, but I know for a fact we were in the gym parking lot in front of the gym. Cops come over. Three cops pull us over because they said that we looked like we were going to rob Taco Bell, right? So I've had very many cases where as a black man, I feel like I was targeted. OK, and the cops know my name. OK, they know who I am because I got pulled over so often that it didn't make any sense, even though I never I've never robbed anybody. I've never committed a crime to where it was like, oh, my gosh, we got to keep an eye on him. In last instance, and this is where I want to bring up the man in the hoodie. I was walking down the street, literally walking down the street. And all I did was this, guys. I'm listening to a Christian song. Probably Hill song, or if y'all know who that is. And all I did was this. I went, I did like that. And I was just like, thank you, God. I know my life is rough right now. I didn't have a vehicle. I was living it rough. It, I had to walk everywhere, which is probably good anyway. But nonetheless, I had to walk everywhere. I felt like a bum. I looked like a bum. And so I was just like, thank you, God. One day I'll probably get out of this situation. And that's what I did. And guess what? Cops got called on me. They said that I was throwing up gang signs and the cops showed up and the fire department showed up because Lord forbid, even it, to me, it was just like, if I'm throwing up gang signs to myself, what does it matter? I'm not hurting anybody, but I was seen as a threat. Why? Because I'm wearing a hoodie in the middle of the summer. So I look suspicious. So if you were, if this was you and you're walking, you see a man in a hoodie, right? You do not continue to walk towards them. People say that it would have been this is and they, everybody talks about how this guy's a leftist and stuff like that. That's fine. Whatever. Don't care that much. But I want to say this, guys, if you want to take 
hey, look, if you this is coming from me, who I said has many a times had the cops calling on him for no reason at all. My mother used to tell me all the time, and I didn't listen, that you you should never wear your hood around the city like that. She said, don't wear a hoodie. You look suspicious. You're always going to look suspicious when you wear a hoodie. But I didn't listen because they're like, I'm just going to be my own man. That's them for being that. Because if I'm a black man wearing a hoodie, blah, 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 blah. Right? Here's what I want to say. Today, I am suspicious of many of people. If I'm, and this is happening at 4 a.m. in the morning, you won't catch me dead walking at 4 a.m. in the morning in the city. In the city? No. Where I'm from, yeah, I'd probably be perfectly fine from where I'm from in my own hometown. But there's no way you would find me in the streets of New York or the streets of L.A., the streets of San Francisco, walking at night. No way on earth. Okay? Because people are suspicious. If I saw a black man wearing a hoodie, I'm walking on the other side of the street. I got my head on a swivel. I'm looking like, okay, this guy could, and especially when he starts knocking over, when he starts knocking over random stuff, that tells me this man's unhinged. I'm going the other way. Watch my back. But instead, Mr. Carson here decided he was going to keep walking towards him. And so when the man finally decided to pull out that thing and he said, I'm going to do something to you, Carson tries to fight him off. And then he ends up ultimately losing his life. I'm telling you right now, if I see anybody in a hoodie when I'm walking down the street, I normally do walk across the street. Or if I if I absolutely have no choice but to walk towards them because this car is coming or something, I'm just going to stay back, man. I might turn back around and be like, I'll, I'll, I'll just go another day. Forget it. It's not worth it. It's not me being racist. It's me being stereotypical. You're right. That's a prejudice. Somebody in a hoodie is something I'm not going to walk towards, right? A guy Now, could a guy in a business suit, a guy who's wearing a shirt tie like I am, could he uh, stab you up? Of course he could. Of course he could. But I'm going to be weary of the man in the hoodie first. Okay? First of all, if I see anybody walking on the same side of the road as me, I've got my head on a swivel. If, you know, you, sometimes you can't avoid it, but I'm going to be like, hey, maybe this guy might do something, he might not. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have my hand in my pocket ready to go. You know what I'm saying? Not that I'm trying to hurt nobody, but I'm, I'm just ready. You should be suspicious of most people, especially at night. During the day, maybe not so, but during the nighttime, of course. This is not a racist thing. You should always be wary of anybody, anybody at night, especially if they're wearing a hoodie, knocking over scooters. He, What did he think was going to happen? He's going to walk down there and be like, hey, sir, how are you doing today? Oh, man, I'm just, I know I'm knocking over these scooters, but I just got out of class at Harvard. It's just like, that's not what's going to happen. The person's obviously unhinged. Now, let's get on to what I want to talk about when it comes to the GoFundMe. Okay, so Mr. Carson is gone. God rest his soul. He made a mistake. I'm not going to kill him for it. Uh, that was poor choice of words. I didn't mean it that way. I do apologize. I'm saying that he lost his life. I'm not going to sit here and be all over and be like, wow, you're an idiot. You're this, you're that. He's gone, man. And um, he made a mistake. He was probably standing for the wrong things, and he's gone now. And... I'm not going to just, I'm not going to, that kind of guy who would stomp on or disrespect somebody's uh, passing away. But here is um, the GoFundMe that they've already raised $63,000 at this point. And it says, hi, everyone. We are a collective of Ryan's close friends reeling from a brutal loss. We are asking for your help on behalf of his partner and easing the burden of stress, this horrifying situation of this, hor of this horrifying situation so that, excuse me, we can have space to grieve and remember Ryan immediate needs are to offset the cost of the working class, uh, taking time off to uh, work properly in the morning. So people have a problem with this because his friends are profiting off of this man's passing away. Right. And they're saying that, you know what? We need time off work to go grieve. We would, res we would uh, respect if you want to send us money. Here's my thing. Because they didn't mention a funeral cost. Or any stuff like that. They said they want to take time off work. Can you please give us money? Me personally. I don't think. That was right to do. I don't think of. And we've all lost people. I've lost people. You've lost people. I don't, I've never asked for money to. Um, get me through the times. So me as a friend. Can take time off work. To be fair. I'm not an immediate person to him. Yes. Am I going to grieve? Yes. Am I going to cry? Can I take some time off work? Yes. 
but I still don't think it's your responsibility for a man who made a mistake and made a um a very bad decision to have his life taken. It's not it shouldn't be on us people to pay for you to take time off work. Your job should do that. And if you don't have a job that does that does that for you, that is life. That is tough. Um, but I don't think it's right for them to be like, oh, my friend just passed away. Let's ask for money. And they get sixty three thousand dollars. And that number is probably climbing. If they get up to one hundred thousand dollars just to grieve. That's insane to me. How much money do you need to grieve for a couple a week or two? You know, you got to move on. I know losing somebody can take your take everything from you. I get that, man. I get that. Trust me. I, uh, I had to go through it myself and I only took a week off from work, you know, because it's just one of those things kind of like you kind of have to go through it. You know, you kind of have to move forward in life. And I know it's different for everybody, but it's just like, man, a hundred thousand dollars. If that's what I'm seeing, it may climb to. But even seventy thousand dollars, that's a lot of money just for you to go grieve of a friend's loss. I don't think they should be. I can't stand how some of these GoFundMe's just trick people. They, it doesn't matter what's going on. It's like GoFundMe. I don't even like I've never had a I think I've had a GoFundMe one time in my life to raise money for church camp when I was a young man. But I don't think I've ever used GoFundMe in my life. I'm never asked people and I've asked people for money for other stuff. But when I the two losses that I've had in the last two years. I didn't ask anybody for money. People offered me food so we didn't have to go out in the town and have all these people asking me all these questions about what happened, Trey, how are you doing? Asking my wife the same thing. How are you today? That's the only thing I didn't want to have to go through. I did not want to go through the questions. I did not want to have to hear all that. But I didn't say, hey, guys, can you give me $60,000 so I can know, man? People have jobs. I understand people have lives, and I don't understand why you would go through this to get money out of regular working class people so you can have some time to ease the burden. You didn't get your life taken. <clears throat> this is just a friend of yours. And I know I'm saying just a friend of yours, but it's like, that's insane to me that you would start a GoFundMe. It was for only $20,000 to be fair, but still 20 racks just to grieve. You may need 500 extra dollars. You just need one week's work. Um, but I don't know, man. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe you guys think that you should get this GoFundMe. But as far as the Ryan Carson situation, guys, I don't care if they're black, white, Hispanic. It doesn't matter. Asian. I'm not about to name all the things. But, you know, if you're walking the streets at 4 a.m., just assume everybody is crazy. I'm talking about even everybody is an issue. A man in a business suit. I don't care. But especially a man in a hoodie who's knocking over scooters, I suggest you walk away. You will not be racist. If you ever see me walking down and I got on a hoodie and got my head down and you decide to cross the street, I will not take it personal, man. Even people in this world that I do think may have racist tendencies, like I said, the cops bother me all the time. Certain cops bother me all the time. And I do think sometimes maybe my color played a role at the exact same time. If it was me. And I saw myself back then. I'm walking across the street. I'm not engaging with me. I don't know what I could do. So I don't think if you see a black man wearing a hoodie that you should think, oh, man, maybe he's a perfect person in society. I shouldn't judge him because he's black. Judge him. Judge him all you want. Not because he's necessarily because he's black, but because he's wearing a hoodie and got his head down. Okay, and he's not talking, not making no eye contact. Those kind of people I would be weary of. OK, so make all the judgments you want. If he happens to be black, does not make you racist. You do what you can to protect your woman. You do what you can do to protect your own life. Don't be stupid. OK, that is probably one of the dumbest reasons um, I see people get into a lot of things. But anyway, uh, for you, Ryan Carson, I don't know you as a leftist. I don't know who you are. I only know you as a man who made a mistake and thought you were possibly doing the right thing. And now your life is taken. Um, so to the family and friends of him, if they care, I don't know, based off this GoFundMe, I don't know if they cared about you, Mr. Carson. For the people who did care about Mr. Carson, I'll pray for you. Um, I know it's going to be a very hard time for you. And um, I just pray for your family. And I pray that all your needs are being taken care of um, for the people who really cared about him. Um, so much love. Um, it's a sad story. I don't like to see anybody getting their life taken. Um, 
<sighs> Just another day, though. Sad to say, though. All right. Let me know what y'all think. I'm gone.